I make all sorts of things, but music is the purest of my creations. I have had no proper education in it. No training. I have no idea what I'm doing. I barely even know the software that I use. I just chuck notes down and rearrange them until I'm happy with the result. And happy, I always am. Eventually. With my other projects, whether I want it or not, I start with a plan. I envision what I want it to become, yet when I get there, I'm never 100% happy with it. And if you criticise those things, I'll get defensive. But my music? Mate, you can criticise that all you want. You can tell me how you know better because you've studied it, or I've got your tracks featured somewhere successful. You could be the Pet Shop Boys for all I care. It won't faze me, sweetheart. For I love my music. I love it like a mother loves a child, unconditionally just the way it is. I am blind to its faults, and I'm fully content being like that. My tracks give me so much joy to listen to, I don't care if they're the worst songs in the world, and if you don't like them, then I can only pity you for not sharing my blind, ignorant bliss. With that said, let's reverse some of them and see if I still love them. It seems only logical when I create my music by spamming a sheet of notes that I'd experiment with flipping and reversing them as well. Now let me stop you there. Don't get carried away thinking you could double your music collection by reversing every song you love and that you'll somehow still love them. It doesn't work like that. The tunes may be successfully reversed, but you don't want for the instruments themselves to be reversed. Well, you might sometimes, but most of the time you won't. So you'll need to get the music straight from the source, like I can with my tracks. Let's flip them and hear what they sound like. I'll summarise now. The more complex the song, the more likely it is not to work. But there are other parts, often just a few seconds long, something in the middle of it all, which can often sound great, as though constructed by Elefskirkus himself. In my opinion, this song reversed doesn't sound as good as the original does, but it's passable, and most importantly remains coherent. With a bit of tweaking I could probably produce a standalone track from this. Unfortunately, Fruity Loop Studio doesn't let you easily flip the whole arrangement of the song, only the notes in each individual note pattern, so compromises need to be made over how reversed I want for the structure of the song to be. But that's fine because manual configuration is always required. The next song I ever made after that one was this one. still one of my favourite little tunes. It may be simple, but I can't fault it for what it is. Reverse it, however, and I suddenly can, because it sounds awful, disjointed and dithering. In my mind, it's clear that this song has been reversed because it no longer makes any structural sense whatsoever, so you can't expect flipping a song to work on a song-wide basis. But now for one of my success stories. I was in a bit of a mess. I'd been working on a song for about two months and it was coming along okay, but it lacked focus. It was just a thing that went on for a bit and then ended. I liked what was there, like I would a child, but it wasn't exactly the sharpest child in the washing machine or anything like that. So I put the project on hold and started trying to formulate a tune for it all to wrap around. Tunes are how I typically start a project. I construct a tune using a single instrument and mess with that until I'm happy, and then build on it until it becomes a whole song. Here is one that I was working on almost exactly 10 years ago now. I think you can already hear the bit that stands out. This bit here sounds nice. I like it. It was going to be the bit that I was going to base the whole song around, but then I had the crazy idea of reversing it. And I found that this also sounded really interesting. And suddenly the whole project carried on moving in the right direction again, but in the opposite way from how it was before that important moment. It soon became this. And then, a few months later, I finished what I still consider to be the most complicated song that I've ever finished, a song that I call Lies. And I managed 
finished all this simply because midway through a project I did a full 360 and went the other way. But perhaps you still need convincing on the perks of reversing a song. How about one you may be familiar with already? Atomic Amnesia. Trying to remake a popular song can backfire horribly. In the process of relying on something popular while trying to make it into something new, you can end up crashing hard and offending everybody. But that won't stop me from trying, so I proudly present to you Emos de Regime. bit messy, but it never works first time, so I played with it a bit to give this new tune a fighting chance. I probably won't bother making it into a whole new song, but here's the result of about half an hour's work, inspired by a quick little 180 to keep me from going backwards.